What's up, Hegel? Backpack Mo back again. Happy holidays to all of you and you and your family. Make sure you guys are having a safe, happy holidays. You know, man, when it comes to holiday season, bro, it's all about feelings. It's all about family. All that, all that tied yeah. together. You know, now 2020 has been a rough year for all of us. Me personally, and I, and I, I don't know about you, but you know, it's it's been a tough year for worldwide yes, for all of us. Yes, you know, but what we what we can do is make some cocktails, make some things, some drinks. That you know that, that bring us all together, that make us have that warm feeling inside, physically, spiritually, all that too as well. So what we have here, man, Justin, man, I'm bringing you back, man. You know, <laughs> hey, you, you haven't filmed me. You haven't filmed me once. What can we do this okay. time for the holiday so, uh, season? So for this holiday season, we want to give you two simple, easy to make, delicious cocktails. Okay. Both of these cocktails are meant to, you know, you're gonna have five or six of these. Fine, but that's the point of it. You know, you got four or five of your closest family members in the house over the holidays, and you guys can really throw these back and have a good time. Okay, home so for the holidays. So what we start out with is uh, Crown Royals Salted Caramel Whiskey. So is, it, is this a hot drink, or is this a... This is going to be my take on a traditional hot butter scotch. This is okay. a hot butter cider. Ooh, so we'll nice take some crown, you know? salted caramel... This is definitely for about a fire, you're in the woods, in the caravan. Yeah, man, we need something for that, you know, especially being on the East Coast for us, you know, it gets, the winters can get pretty cold. We need something to kind of, you know, you know that warm feeling in your chest, you know. Exactly. So, something that's done by the campfire. So you want to take an ounce, a shot, which is an ounce and a half of salted caramel, half okay. ounce of fresh lemon juice. Okay. Now what I have right here is going to be some fresh room temperature butter. Get yourself about a teaspoon of that. In. Okay. And then you're gonna take some uh, fresh hot caramel apple cider. And that'll break down that butter. And when you break down that butter, you get that nice velvety texture. But all those fats, the lipids, that when they break down, it gives it just so much flavor. I got you. And it just pairs perfectly with the caramel. So it's the perfect Thanksgiving Christmas style drink. All right. Three little mix. So everything is all kind of melted and then blended everything in between. Melt okay. it's, just, it's just a smooth, yeah, buttery cocktail. Literally buttery, because I don't, Literally I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see the butter anymore. And now, not now that you've yeah, kind of stirred it around. down, it's going to be nice. It'll break down over time. You don't have to break it all down at once. Okay. But, so we did, we did whiskey, right, inside yes. of it. Yes. Uh, caramel whiskey, salted caramel whiskey, okay. lemon juice, a little bit of uh, caramel apple cider, and butter. That's it. Right. It's that okay. simple. It's that like simple. Like a half teaspoon of butter or something like that? Yeah, it's right? like a half teaspoon, half teaspoon, whatever your butter level is. Okay. I'll tell you, but. Right on. All right, cheers. Happy cheers. holidays cheers. to you, brother. Yeah, definitely, man. Oh, definitely. Uh, Woo! It's like liquid butterscotch, man. Yeah, it is. Oh. And I don't even taste like like the butter butter, you know, in it. You don't taste the butter or the whiskey. It, I mean, that's the dangerous part about it, but that's what makes it good. Yeah, this is, this is the perfect if, you know, you're locked down, you're at home. Oh. You can make it in, like, in a big batch, right? I'm gonna yeah, you get this. This is why it's great for the family. This is why it's great for the holidays. Yeah, you can just kind of just eat up some apple cider, a little bit of butter, it up, whiskey, yeah. and lemon, and that's L- it. You ladle it out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's amazing, bro. Amazing. So, all right, well, Justin, man. All right, so let's round it off. You know, with the la- the last drink. What you got for us, man? Let me look. So what we got right now is a espresso martini. So this mm. is. This is a, I call it an all day cocktail. It's okay. really good for brunch, but it's especially great for all those later season holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you want. So we'll start off with some house infused espresso vodka. I like kettle one, so I house infuse my kettle one with espresso beans, roasted, and a little bit of vanilla paste. Now, how long did you uh, ex- uh, make the infused vodka? How, so, how, how many hours does it need to set to like to my, be My infused? standard is 72 hours. I give it three okay. days. I give it three days to, then I understand what kind of color you're getting, what kind of flavor you're getting, if you need your fruits to be riper, if they need to be a little less ripe, whatever. I said, think three days is a safe solid so, so any type of vodka, just plain vodka, yeah, right? Yeah, vodka is a base spirit. You can okay. add anything to it and get any kind okay. of flavor. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So we'll start off with a shot of that espresso vodka. We'll give ourselves a half ounce of Kahlua. All right. It's that nice coffee. It complements that coffee flavor. We get right. a little smoothness and richness. Okay. And then we'll round it off with this. Just a 
have found some bread. Oh, so this, this is gonna be more like a chilled cocktail, right? Like it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be like. It's gonna co- be chill. It's not gonna be hot. So you get both sides of the spectrum. Okay, you can gotcha. get it hot. You can get it cold. Whatever you but like. still, like an after dinner type of drink. It's I mean, we're all inside, inside anyway, so might as well go ahead and try it out. Okay. And then we'll do an ounce and a half, a little half and a half. All right. Then you grab yourself a nice cube of ice. Okay. Give it a hard shake. 30 seconds on it. Something like that. Alright. It's a nice quick shake. Run all those flavors. Get your strainer over martini glass. Like Look a, how smooth that looks. Yeah, I'm, nice I'm, 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 I'm awake already. Like the express, the aromas, and the, and the essence is, is coming off. Like I can definitely smell the espresso beans. Is that what you're using as a garnish? Yes, so the same espresso beans we used to infuse the vodka. Okay. I take a little, set them aside, and I roast them just for the garnish on the cocktail to give you that nice aroma. So we're doing what? Three? The Trinity, the Trinity yeah, exactly, yeah. And then take a little, just a dash of cinnamon right over top. That's perfect, man. That, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Espresso martini. All right, bro. This is the last drink. We got the, you know. Espresso martini. Cheers, man. The espresso. Cheers. Let's get lifted. It's nice, smooth. Still get a little bit of that bite in the back, which is what you want. You want to know you're drinking. Yeah, we ain't. It's got great flavor. Oh, I know it. It's a good, it's a perfect dessert drink, too. Perfect dessert drink, perfect holiday drink. These are drinks, easy, simple. All the ingredients that you guys see, you'll be able to see on the channel itself. You'll be able to make it home. Yo, Justin. Yo, man, bro. Thank, thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Happy holidays to all of you guys out there. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay home. Uh, we appreciate you. Have a good 2021 one season, you know. Uh, appreciate you in the year, man. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. This is Backpack Mo signing out. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.